how to use the peak activity on YPath. Hello, hi Marcelo. On this tutorial, we will learn about the peak activity and how we can use it. So here on activities, let's search for peak. And here we have the peak and the peak branch activity. So uh, let's first drag the peak activity. So the peak activity, it's really great to automate some more complex parts of a workflow. And it's a really valuable activity because it allows to increase in some uh, sense uh, the performance of our automation if it's uh, correctly used. So let's understand in practice how it works. So it will be easier uh, to understand how we can use it and why it's a valuable activity. So on the big activity, uh, we can define multiple uh, triggers. And on each trigger, uh, we define the condition. So it could be a file created, uh, email received. And when we receive uh, this email or when the file is created, when the defined trigger is activated, the corresponding actions or the set of actions will be executed. So how we can define uh, a trigger? So we will use the peak branch activity and we need to use it inside of the peak activity. And here we can see that we can define the trigger and so when the trigger is activated, we will execute the action. And we can use uh, the peak uh, branch activities that we want inside of the peak activity. We can drag one, two, three, four, five. So basically, so when we execute the project, the triggers will be listed at the same time. And when uh, a trigger is activated, will be only executed uh, the corresponding action and then uh, the robot will jump and execute the following activities. So let's find here a really a simple trigger so we can see these activities working. So let's add here a trigger, so a delay of five seconds for the first trigger. And then let's add a delay of six seconds for the second peak brush. So uh, as it is, uh, the first trigger that will be activated will be the one from the first peak brush. So that means that will be executed the action from this peak brush and not uh, this one. But one thing to keep in mind is that uh, these the triggers are listening at the same time and that is really great. So now let's just add here a log message. Uh, and here let's add first big branch. And then here let's add a second big branch. So uh, let's run. And as uh, this will only take five seconds, uh, this action will be executed. So as we can see, so as we can see was this action that was executed because this was the first trigger activated. And this is really a simple one. So it could be uh, an email received. Uh, page loaded or some element that appeared so it could be what we want basically so now uh, let's see a more uh, real case so we'll verify if a login was correctly done or not with the peak activity and the peak brush so I have created here a simple workflow that does a login on this web page you can find the link on the description of this tutorial so here we can see the password and the username so it's really just a login page to test and so it already does the login so if we run here the project we can see it fills the username the password and then clicks on the login button and the idea is to just optimize here 
and then the validation to see if the login was successful or not, if the login was successful or not, and optimize that validation with the use of pick and the pick branch activity. So here, after login, let's use the pick. And now let's use a pick branch for validate if a login was successful and another uh, to validate if it was failed. So uh, we can check here if it was successful. So we could check by verifying if this helmet appears. So here let's add a helmet exists or better a shake up state. So helmet exists was on the classic uh, experience uh, of Y automation. And here let's toggle just the branches to only have here the activity to validate. And so we don't need here these uh, target appears and target does not appear conditions. We just have to define here the trigger and the trigger it's if appears uh, the Y helmet, that means that the login was successful. So here let's indicate, let's confirm. And I'll just change here the pick branch display name to pick branch and then a dash successful login. So it becomes more clear. So if this appears, so let's add the log message, login successful. Or successful login and now let's create the case for the failed login so let's add a check app state activity and now uh, let's just simulate the failed login to the wrong password so let's enter a random password so now here let's indicate let's confirm and now let's add here the log message failed login so i'll just refresh this page and let's run our project and see uh, the output so the action so now it's doing the login login successful and here we can see on the output successful login because appear this helmet but the important thing to take into account is that uh, the listing of these triggers it's at the same time so now let's just try here to add uh, so a uh, wrong password so let's run so uh, it will start i'll just do here the logout so it failed and the automation already handed and here we can see fail login and it, it was almost instantaneous so because it's listening at the same time uh, so when one of these elements appears the trigger it's automatically activated and then executed an action so uh, basically here we avoid to wait for the timeout to then execute the, the next one and so uh, by this way we execute them at the same time and when all, one of these elements appears the trigger is activated and we execute the actions that we want on the action section so i hope this explanation was clear i really want to present this activity because it's really great and simple to use i use it a lot on automation projects it really uh, allows to optimize the performance of a project in certain situations so i hope you like this tutorial and if you like it please give a thumbs up and also consider to subscribe to the channel and enable the notifications bell so you'll get notified on new tutorial released on the channel